Between 1911 and 1949, China underwent dramatic change. Political activist Dr. Sun Yat-sen wanted to build a republic that provided equal rights for all. There is a Victoria connection in this bid for a free China. Bruce Kirkpatrick has This Week in History. A letter in the collections of the Royal BC Museum was written by Chinese revolutionary Sun Yat-sen to Victoria businessman Lim Li Bang, who ran the Victoria branch of the Bank of Vancouver. Dr. Sun Yat-sen was featured prominently on Chinese currency. In the letter, Sun, who is to become the modern father of China, asks Lim to contribute to the revolutionary efforts that marked the end of the age of the emperors. Sun Yat-sen's letter to Lim Li Bang is dated March 5th, 1911, this week in history, and signaled... The end of all imperial dynasties in Chinese history. Although some people um, tried um, to become an emperor again, after uh, 1911 they didn't succeed. A lantern at the Royal BC Museum was made by Victoria Chinese Freemasons, full of peaceful images depicting the kind of life Sun Yat-sen envisioned. The lantern is full of moving images, birds and boats, sea life, wildlife, life as Sun Yat-sen would have. The top of the lantern has North America's Chinese Freemason signature. Chinese Freemasons worked and paid from their pockets to establish Sun Yat-sen's dream of a Republic of China. That included Lim Li Bang, the influential Chinese-Canadian merchant born and raised in Victoria. He and countless of others mortgaged their businesses and their homes for a free China, and they sacrificed and contributed because... They believe that a strong China will help their conditions here better. So we heard stories where people um, you know, donated all their savings so that they weren't able to um, send money home for years or going back to visit their own family in China for years. By October 1911, the last dynasty was overthrown and the Republic of China was established. Dr. Sun Yat-sen became the president. When he died in 1925, there were memorials worldwide, including Vancouver and Nanaimo. China became communist ruled in 1949. And Lim Li Bang, who was the unofficial mayor of Victoria's Chinatown, lived to 92, passing away in December of 1974. The old Douglas Hotel in Victoria, now the Rialto, was the Lim Li Bang building for many years and stands today. The Freemasons also remain an active part of Victoria's Chinese community with its Fiskard Street location. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.